eigentlich nicht unsichtbar. Nee, das ist nur ein Hack, Ähm. Most awesome construction over here, Leute. Alright guys, this is Dockam, with another Minecraft video and today the first official snapshot of Minecraft 1.5, the Redstone update. And guys, I couldn't believe it. So many things, so we better get started, it is crazy. All right, first of all, we got very cool new ways to handle items. Let's pick up this block of diamonds here and when you hold right mouse button down, you can now drag items out like this everywhere in your inventory. It's pretty beautiful. It also works for crafting. So for example, if you have to make a chest, you can just hold right, right mouse button and do a circular motion and thus basically draw a chest. Shift double click normally brings it back to your item double clicking and an item sorts all your items into one stack back. That is really cool. Um, also if you for example have more items in your inventory you want to bring into the chest double clicking with shift brings them all in and of course the old functionality to getting items out that is really really useful and cool next up my friends light sensors a daylight detector and that is pretty cool I prepared a little time-lapse you can see it at the top of the screen um, the redstone signal power it is emitting is decreasing with the sunlight level. So the later it gets, the darker it gets, the lower the signal will be. And that is awesome. You can basically make super simple clocks showing you your Minecraft time. And crafting, well, not too complicated. I prepared the recipe here and it uses a new thing, nether quartz. Um, we will have a look at that. But first get the items ready here. Try to craft this one to see if it's really working. But that should be the crafting recipe for our new block, a new item. And there we go, a daylight sensor. This is how you make them and this is how you use them. Well, and I was showing you this quartz, this nether ore quartz. Well, there is a new ore in the game and it is in the nether and we can see it right here. This is how it looks. Let's have a look from a distance. This is the nether ore, or nether quartz ore. Let's get it. And as you can see, you can directly get it with a pickaxe and fortune actually works on it. Um, you can also silk touch it and then try to put it in a furnace and then you will end up with the nether quartz. But there's another thing we can put in a furnace now. Let me get some netherrack here. Let's cook it up. If you cook that, we will end up with... What is it? What is it? What could it be? Yes, indeed. A nether brick block. It's meltdown of you. Alright. We got four. Let's grab them and with four of these you can make nether brick. Yes indeed. And finally, finally there's a good use for all the nether brick or nether rack you've been storing up over the years in your chest. Look, it's over over there, all over is than you are. That is pretty epic. Wow. Well, new ores and the update is called the redstone update uh, for a reason. First of all, well, we kind of got a new principle with redstone. That means there is a signal strength now involved and that is important for different functionalities. 
a new redstone block was introduced, the so-called comparator. Here you can see the crafting recipe and you need the new ore for it as well. So let's craft this one and have a quick look, just a basic look, what the thing can do. Alright, so it's almost like a um, repeater. Just almost, you make this little pyramid with your torches and then you come in with nether quartz and it gives you a redstone comparator. And to make it very simple and of course we will see very interesting designs with that in the future. What it does, it compares redstone signal. So let's have a look. Right now you can see the signal strength of this is one, two, three blocks long so it's weaker than this signal because it only travels for one block. So now this thing can compare the two signals that are coming in. Right now this signal is deactivated, so it's not compared. That just means the redstone signal normally continues right here. If I now power the block, the new block, the comparator from the side, it compares the signal and sees, aha, this is stronger, let's turn it off. This is the very, very basic functionality of the comparator. Um, in the future we will have a more closer look at this one. Just want to show that it's in the game now and how you can craft it. You learned that now and how it basically works. So you know at least what you can do with it for a start. Alright, what else? A block of redstone. That is pretty cool. Crafting is simple. What does it do? Well, it is a movable redstone power source. You can move it around with pistons and that is pretty epic because you can make all kinds of crazy stuff with it. Let's say super fast clocks. <laughs> See how fast the piston pulses. <laughs> but it seems to be stable. And yeah, there is of course a lot of glitches still in the game, if you look at some of the things we did on the server there, um, yeah, mega fast clocks and glitched out redstone torches and crazy butt switches. So we can see into the future and I tell you it's gonna be crazy with the redstone. It's gonna reach a new level, a new era of redstone has begun literally and the redstone block will play an important role in that. That is for sure. And the new features are not over yet. It didn't stop. Two new pressure plates. They are called weighted pressure plates. There is the light version which is made out of gold and there is the heavy version which is made out of iron. The light version can count with increments of four. Look at it. Signal strength. Nothing now. Now we got four items on there. Signal strength is one, two. So another item on there and we go further and so on. So in increments of four up to a full stack. When it reaches a full stack we are at max capacity. See how it increases. So this is the light, uh, light weighted pressure plate. And basically here we had the heavy one and there we got increments of 41. So starting with block 42 we should see an increase of the signal. Well, let's go down, there we go, 42 and plus, so 10 stacks. This is how that works, pretty cool, helps you detect items, item sorting for games, for mob farms, pretty cool man, I like it. And here we go, what is that, are we playing Feed the Beast? <laughs> The modded Minecraft fans pretty much know one of these things and it's called the same name. It is a hopper. First of all, let's look at the crafting recipe. Very simple to do. Just smooth stone and a chest. And with that you can make the hoppers. Let's try it out. Chest in the middle and kind of a funnel shape here. And we get that work in progress. It's not finished yet. Um, but it also already has a lot of cool functionalities. So first of all, hoppers, what do they do? They pick up items and they can put it in and out chests, in and out um, furnaces um, and more. It is pretty, pretty cool. Um, brewing stands, 
minecarts and all kinds of stuff so yeah let's check it out right now we have this empty chest below we only have one block of redstone in there and we have this little water stream set up here and let's dispense some blocks that's three here and it is important that you align your blocks to the center of the hopper and you can see the items disappearing and yeah in the chest yeah I know it's epic <laughs> it's amazing automated mob farms with maybe we get a sorting functionality I don't even want to think about it it's amazing of course the hoppers work here with furnaces for example um, if we grab some sand here you can just either click on the hopper and put items in and you can see how yeah it gets taken into the furnace already smelting or we can also toss um, items in there where was our sand let's do that see that just toss it in it's also pretty cool and then it gets stored up and slowly transferred down and then manufactured you can also use the hopper to get items out of the um, furnace but that didn't work 100% I think that's not 100% implemented yet but don't quote me on that looked a bit iffy and yeah another pretty crazy thing um, is this let's get over here check this um, checking this chest out there's nothing in there so we got a hopper here let's say we put five redstone pieces in there or a few they disappeared not in the hopper yes they are in the minecart send the minecart over and place it directly over the hopper here and voila redstone get transferred <laughs> that is pretty crazy I don't know if that's intended maybe it's intended for a chest minecart but if that works you could actually use minecarts to transfer materials around that is crazy and yeah of course it works with um, brewing stands here let's to the put the bottles in there you see brewing stand gets equipped with bottles another ward Oop. and we're going of course um, at the moment it seems you cannot control the hoppers they seem to take a redstone signal maybe later on and maybe you can then put different settings to it not quite sure yet but that's how it works for now that's what I figured out and yeah that is the hopper pretty epic if you ask me yeah there's another thing <laughs> what wizardry is that chests double chests all stacked together like that welcome to the new storage system I like it how is that possible well we got a new cool chest in the game it's the so-called trapped chest look at the redstone torch to my right there saw it turning off on off so these chests emit a redstone signal it's a weak redstone signal I think it only travels one or two blocks but if you attach a repeater to it you can of course make it longer how do we make one of these chests super simple a chest together with a tripwire hook voila gives you a trap chest and as normal chests and trap chests trapped chests don't merge you can of course create very cool new ways to store and to have space efficient that's for sure yeah and I'd say that's it that's all I knew, that's all I was able to find out together with the guys of JL Server. Thanks a lot again. We always like when the snapshots come out, we go berserk. <laughs> you saw it. Within a few minutes, um, the whole map is filled with test setups and everybody's yeah, going nuts. And that is the best thing. New features keeps the game fresh. I hope you like this snapshot review video and I hope you like the new features. I love him. And yeah, if you figured out stuff on your own, of course, let us know down in the comments. That's it for today. I'm out. Bye, bye.